Hello, this is James Krell from the Madison Film Forum, and this video will illustrate stylistic features in Eric Churel's Caravan, which screens at the UW Cinematheque on Sunday, September 20th. Caravan is uniquely vibrant and full of life, so here I'll look at some of the techniques in the sound design, cinematography, and staging that create that energy. Mickey Mousing matches rhythm and movement on the image track with rhythm and pitch on the soundtrack. Here, Wilma's ascent up the stairs is echoed by the ascending notes. This is a playful technique commonly seen in early sound cartoons and musicals. The eye is drawn to the movement matching the sound, which leads us to almost miss the humor of Miss Opitz raising her dress to keep up with Wilma. To the land of elevators and bellboys without beards. It's up to you to do the ha cha cha. Here, the beat of the song matches the men playing their cards. As the camera moves to other parts of the jail, we hear another playful technique. Shifts in timber through changes in voices and instrumentation to create comic contrasts. The first moments of this great long take set up how camera movement, staging, and sound layering will work in the rest of the shot. Watch and listen. Wilma has disguised herself as a gypsy which allows her to celebrate in the tavern unrecognized by the local townsfolk. Characters weave in and out of the frame and we hear musical instruments layered in the soundtrack as the camera reveals what seems to be an endless array of merriment. You could buy a whole gypsy cam with this. Come here. Ask the lady what she wants to hear. Oh, something happy. Something gay. Something really happy? Yes. Something really gay? Yes. Ha-cha-cha. Ha-cha-cha. The second half of this long take elaborates on the movements and sounds of the first half. From the violin player, the camera pans left to the guitar player, whom the camera follows from screen left to right. The guitar player leads us to a young waiter, whom the camera follows from screen right to left. The waiter leads us down a seemingly endless row of townsfolk, singing and playing various instruments. As we travel down that row, Various instrument sounds and voices are woven in and out of the soundtrack as their sources appear and disappear from the frame. This boisterous energy never seems to let up at any time in the film. There's always another singer or dancer or grape crusher, and always another guitar, violin, or flute. The next shot, which brings us back to the palace, matches the movement of this shot, and we hear one more flute layered in the soundtrack. Eventually, the gypsies take over the palace. While we're used to the large Art Deco-inspired spaces of 1930s musicals, it is quite jarring and exhilarating when Churel fills those spaces with a controlled chaos in his staging of the gypsies. The most vivid example of this is the confrontation when the local authorities attempt to clear the gypsies out of the palace. What begins as a regimented advance and a slow surrender eventually transforms into an explosion of kinetic energy and movement. If you don't want to see Caravan on the big screen after seeing this shot, you should probably just stop watching motion pictures.
The UW Cinematheque screens Caravan at the Chazen Museum on Sunday, September 20th at 2 o'clock p.m. This is James Krell for the Madison Film Forum. Be sure to read my full review of Caravan and other local screenings at madfilm.org.